Hey, this is Joanna Chadwick with the Wichita Eagle and VarsityKansas.com with your two-minute drill. It is the second week of district football play, and there was a battle of unbeatens out at Northwest High School. Northwest comes away with a 38-21 win over Garden City. Alex Bott with four touchdowns. But how about this stat? Tony Joyner, Jalil Rounds, and Alex Bott with 418 rushing yards. Northwest has not clinched a spot yet because that district is a little messed up. Hutchinson with a 72-34 win over Dodge City. It's going to be important that game next week against Hutchinson. Northwest is at home. Bishop Carroll gets the win over Mays South. And Bishop Carroll has now won seven straight games. You know, it was that game was really close. It was 7-0 after the first quarter, but Jake Allen, he comes through with more than 300 passing yards. He has two passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. Adam Tice, though, gets hurt. However, got some help from Gottschalk. He came out and had a good game uh, coming out of the backfield for Bishop Carroll. Valley Center gets the win over Mays High, also in that district. All right, Holstead, that was the game I was at. 32-28 to over Garden Plain. I didn't know what was going to happen here once I found out that Blake Beckett for Halstead, an incredible running back, was hurt. He was on the sideline wearing a knee brace, but man, they just, they played incredible against a really good Halstead team, or uh, Garden Plain team. They're, they were both unbeaten. Eli McKee with 258 rushing yards for Halstead, two touchdowns. Lake Heimerman was incredible. Two touchdowns for Halstead. Alex Becker for Garden Plain, he throws for four passing touchdowns and 229 yards. Three of those touchdowns were to Nate Pauley. All right, on the other side of that, you know, you're looking at Halstead comes away with the championship there, the district championship, but Garden Plain is still alive. They've got to get a win next week. And that win was sealed by Casey Core. I tell you, that kid, an incredible interception in the final 30 seconds of the game to seal that win. All right, Heights got a 27-25 win over Emporia. Rodney Murphy with another big game. He had five touchdowns last week in the win over Andover. He had three tonight. And, and I tell you, both Heights and Capen have clinched a spot in the 5A playoffs. They're both 2-0, and they will meet next week. It was Capen 51-27 over Andover. Capen with 34th quarter points to take a close game and just blow it out. Nick Channel with 130 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Alexander Norris with 100 rushing yards. And Brock Mon had 149 rushing yards plus more than 100 passing yards so that was a good win for Capen and Derby gets a win over Wichita South 51 to 13 South High now with four straight losses Derby though Brady Russ three touchdowns 132 rushing yards and they clinch a berth in the class 6a playoffs Mulvane gets a win over Wellington Jaden Price 201 rushing yards three touchdowns and uh, this kid continues to impress. I, you know, he's a young quarterback, but he continues to play really well. And Cheney gets the win over Chaparral. Cheney with three, a district championship there. Game winning touchdown thrown by Micah Grover, whose grandfather just died a couple days ago. Very sad situation, but what a way to remember his grandpa. Thanks so much for watching the two minute drill. Enjoy your football.